morning drive and these are images we just are not very familiar with the 14-time major champion tiger woods this was in december struggling at the hero world challenge at isleworth and then last week at the waste management phoenix open tiger shooting a career worst 82 really fueled by some woes around the greens bladed chips chunk chips all the things we've really become accustomed to in the last couple of months with the former world number one these are unfamiliar sights, though, in the big picture of Tiger Woods' career. Do you have any thoughts on what he can do to fix these ailments? Well, absolutely. If you watch the last shot that he hit, you saw following the shot, he took his right hand and he was kind of going like this. He's trying to get the club out in front of him. And Chris, if I can step in here just for a second. What, where he's struggling, Damon, is he's getting the club really steep out here on his backswing, a little bit shut. And then as he comes through, he drags the handle. Now, you need to make a decision. Are you going to use the bounce or the leading edge? And if you get the shot, leaning forward at impact you're using the leading edge if you want to use the bounce the shaft ha shaft has to be neutral or even backwards and tiger is stuck in between techniques here he's taking it back up here steep like he's going to use leading edge leaning shaft but then he drags the handle and comes up trying to use the bounce and so it looks it looks something like this it's kind of he's kind of backing up on it and it is it's got nothing to it so what he needs to do is he needs to decide what part of the clubs he's going to use and if he's going to use the bounce he's got to get the club working working in front of him this way right out of the top and actually that one-handed drill like this and you just let it go with one hand that's a great way to practice that yeah and the amateur struggle with this as well i mean i think this is the hardest shot for amateurs right around the greens <laughs> they get a lot of yippy chips i speak from experience chris are, are there drills you work on to kind of keep yourself absolutely dialed in yeah i think it's a lot of its fundamentals i mean okay. for me it's a little bit more in the back of the stance mm -hmm. a little bit more hands a little bit forward club face maybe a hair open so you can use the bounce in the back of the club not so much the leading edge a little bit to the ground so just a little bit open hands back i mean obviously aim where you want to go and then for me i just try to pull through that's what i try to do so it's just Go ahead. This, Go ahead. and your body seems to be moving throughout the shot there's no stop of the body and arms passing Try not. Just kind of maybe just, you know. Tell you what, that could go. Oh! You like just, what you're seeing from DeMarco? Yeah, he's a great chipper. He's a great chipper. But he took a hole those at the Masters in 05. We were very close to holding those. You gotta, you you gotta believe. This. That's the main thing. If you don't believe you're gonna hit a good chip, you're not gonna hit a good chip. Gotta have trust. Target-oriented, not mechanics-oriented. Correct. That's what we all work chipping. All 